Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. This reading will be for us for Thursday for September 10th. And as usual, I am opening to the cosmic laws of truth and love and wisdom and the limitless abundance of the universe. And I'm going to draw five cards for the day. The first two being for the morning. I'll get them framed up. Just give me a moment. Uh, the theme for the day. The afternoon and the evening. Okay. Wow. So we have, I allowed for reversals when I shuffled. Kind of like a, you know, big, the way kids finger paint. And drew them back together. And today we have all reversals. That is super weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. <gasps> All right. Well, I just have to read them as I see them. Okay. So, so for the theme for the day, I would say there's not much celebration going on. And it might even be a quieter day where we're not really, uh, you know, going to connect with too many people. Um, this is just so weird. This happens with, with Trump readings often, but not, not for us. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to try to spin it some way that it's not, and I'm not going to reshuffle and do anything different. I'm... Oh, I forgot, you guys. I wanted to tell you about a, a channel, that another channel that I love, that my friend Lana uh, created. So she's on YouTube. She's uh, Touched by Tarot. And I'll put a link in the des description, you know, down below so that you can easily, um, you know, access her video. But I, I really encourage everyone to subscribe and watch her video. She's excellent, excellent, excellent. And then uh, she's also on Instagram, too. So, so anyway, I saw this card. It reminded me of her. <laughs> it's like one of my soul sisters. <laughs> but, okay, so, but in the reverse position, it's just, it's one of those days where we're, most likely not going to be as, oh goodness, uh, communicative, um, collaborative, collaborative, I don't, how do I say that? Um, we're not going to be collaborating as much. It's going to be more of an internal day. Or another way I'm seeing this is the possibility that it's not such a big group that, that we, you know, would we're either going to be more quiet quietly inward and uh, you know just keeping our to ourselves that during that day or only just to a few trusted you know people so that that's kind of overlaying the theme now with the ace of cups starting out the morning i again it's like the feelings and and this could be because of the overall theme is that the, the feelings you know here we have you know three of cups i mean i'm sorry two cup cards uh, with the Three of Cups and Ace of Cups, it can very well be that the the uh, emotions don't go up and out. They come back in, and there's something to examine. It could be a little a little bit challenging as far as opening our hearts to others, and I get the feeling it has to do with we're going through a little bit of a lack of self confidence. As in the upright position, the Queen of Wands is very, very, uh, you know, confident. You know, it's it's that it's that energy where you know that you can create whatever you want, and so you're willing to put yourself out there. And you know, of course, this comes from like the open-hearted giving. You know, the givingness that can come from an open-hearted human being and and spiritual. The spiritual essence from within, the you know the spiritual fluids, the the um, the caring that that just comes without. So that doesn't mean that we're not going to be caring and we're not going to have you know some self confidence. I just feel like it's a day where we won't be putting ourselves out there as much for some reason or another. We'll be a little more inward. And um, I so welcome your, you know, comments and, and any, um, you know, any wisdom that comes through this day because it just feels like a much more in, an inward day. And it may be in, towards the afternoon that we have 
uh, some questioning, some internal dialogue around our relationships and our, our partnerships, choices that we make, uh, you know, as to who to be with. Is this the right person? You know, what's really going on? And then the same thing, it's like this, this not so much of an openness to new ideas because we're, we're dealing with something something internal that is very, very, very important. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so I have to, I'm just going to have to use some oracle cards to get into this. So let me leave these up here where I can see them. Give me a moment here. Let's use the, let's use the spirit animal. Spirit animal oracle. It's Colette Baron Reed's deck. Let's get some more information. Can't leave you guys hanging like that. Although there's nothing wrong with, with so much of the inward focus at all. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so... With, with these three cards, yeah, it makes perfect sense. We have to go inside to find that place where we really do have faith. You know, grasshopper spirit says, take a leap of faith. <laughs> it's funny, yeah, they do. They leap all over the place, don't they? So let's, let's take that leap of faith within. We have to find our faith within. I mean, it, it, it definitely can grow as we trust and keep our, our hope aligned with, you know, with true, with the, you know, the true abundance of the universe. I, and, and with that leap of faith, uh, you know, on the inward level, you, you're, it grows, it definitely grows. And then that helps to create a place where you really trust in, like trust in the magic. I, honestly, you guys, I, I don't, this is just one of my weird quirks. I don't believe in luck and I don't believe in magic. I believe that we create our own reality and that our so-called luck and good fortune uh, comes through because we've earned it. And whether we, you know, remember it from a past lifetime or not, it, you know, we have earned it because of the the things that we've done in the past. And whatever we earn, no one can ever take that away from you. You know what I mean? It's like you, you can... You can lose something that's very dear to you, but you can always recreate it if somehow or another it is it is taken away. And then in that and that's um, you know that's where we have earned it within. We can always create a new business. We can always create a new job. We can always create a new. We can open to a new love relationship. We can open to new means of you know creating the money that we need creating healthy relationships. And so it, it might seem like it's magic when it comes through, but trust me, you've earned it. You've earned it. It's a miracle when those things happen. It feels like a miracle. But yeah, if you just, if, if we all just take a leap of faith from, from within, keep going in the direction that we want to go in. And, and I believe, all, you know, ravens are connected to spiritual law. So if we're in alignment with the spiritual laws, and to trust that your your deep your deep deep knowing within you know your inner being has a plan for you that's that place where you know we always have to remember that when we come into each lifetime we carry our own life plan with us and in order to fulfill it um, you know to to be in that life task we have to go in a certain direction and and to do that we're following our own personal plan and if we don't you know honor that call within then you know we don't really grow as much as we we, we cannot grow as much as we should as much as we've given the opportunity to grow in each lifetime and when we're when we're open, like when we're in truth, when we're in our our inner truth and aligned with our plan, and you you don't have to know completely what that plan is. You just have to sense it and 
the only way to sense it is to go inside and get that information. That's what the cards, you know, the tarot cards were about. It's a very inward day to help us really get in tune with our direction, our individual life direction, and, and, and to open to that. And as we open to that, we'll be in truth. And then when we're in truth, we're also in alignment with divine law, cosmic law, you know, um, the natural order of the universe, uh, divine order, whatever you want to call it. But when you, when you do that, as we do that, our life force move, moves, um, you know, our, our life forces, our, our energies within, they move in harmony. And it's just a very organic, natural way of being. And it's one of those things that it's so weird. It's because you, you just, it it's so instinctual and you go in just a, a flow. And you don't always, uh, you're not always consciously aware of how important that is. It's all those little things that make such a difference. But wherever we're not in alignment with our you know our, our inner consciousness that if it's if it's not in alignment with truth and we're not searching for the truth you know and the truth of your real feelings and the, the the absolute truth of the universe that it's you know we we are living in a web of existence that is in a you know a a, a love a big I mean, you just look up at the stars, it's like we're kept in, in this web of love. And so in order to open more deeply to your, your life path and honor your call, you know, you, you have to move towards the love. You just, you have to go for what is loving to you, what, uh, what you love to do, you know, and then the money will follow as in, um, what was her name, Shakti, Shakti Gawain, I think. <laughs> I read a book like way back in the early 90s that yeah, was like, do what you love and the money will follow. I think that was her book. Uh, so anyway, if we're not in alignment with truth, what happens is, is that the life force becomes inverted and it kind of, it turns against ourselves. And so we have to write it, you know, from within. And that will feel like, when you do that, it, it feels like, you know, the magic of the universe, and it feels like a miracle, but it, it's really just a, a, it's the way everything is set up. So I don't, I don't really feel that it's magical, I just feel like it's, it's something that's naturally always there, and you can trust in it. And then when the miracles come in, that definitely feels like magic, but just know that you've earned it. You've truly earned it. And your unique essence, your spirit has a plan for you. So that's really, that's beautiful. So wow, well, good, good for us in the inward days. <laughs> okay, you guys, take good care, and I'll be back next time. Bye.